I think what we, we've recognized is that uh, you know connectivity is really uh, universal at this point via the internet. Uh, the device proliferation is absolutely massive, and that you know delivering television content isn't just about getting into the big screen now; it's about getting into all screens. And uh, as we looked at that, and we looked at all the content in our uh, in our coffers and all the opportunities that we had, we really wanted to deliver a robust experience for you know all of our fans, including those that wanted more from CBS and those that weren't getting access to CBS uh, in other ways and on all devices. So uh, we launched uh, in the middle of Q4 uh, of 14 a product called CBS All Access, which uh, delivers the live linear feed of your local CBS television station right now in 14 markets, our owned and operated stations, uh, as well as a robust catalog of on-demand content, including current seasons, past seasons and a large library, over 6,500 episodes uh, in the service, uh, called it CBS All Access and are marketing it for $5.99 a month as a subscription product direct to consumer uh, via all platforms. Uh, and we're really excited about the, the opportunity it brings for the television network. I mean, it's, it's really early, right? We're yeah. less than 90 days old uh, at this point, but uh, it's been tremendous. We've had uh, a ton of great reaction from the press and from social media. And uh, I think what we're finding in terms of the early subscriber base is that uh, it's certainly our, our biggest fans. It's certainly uh, a slightly younger audience, as you might expect, uh, than even what is core on CBS.com or, or some of our other platforms, and certainly than the on-air. Uh, content uh, viewership and um, and what we're seeing is that they consume a lot more content uh, they come in they pay and they want to uh, eat more we're seeing longer user sessions longer uh, you know more user sessions and more consumption of content overall uh, so it's been really exciting uh -huh. same way we've been d delivering advertising online for years uh, through cbs.com and our app um, you know, 25 million people on CBS.com, 10 million people with our app. We've been delivering advertising to lots of people for a long period of time, uh, six or seven years now that the, the episodes have been available. Uh, but here it's more episodes, more content, delivered in the same method and delivered with the same type of advertising. There's a slightly reduced ad load uh, for some of the on-demand content, so it's a better user experience. Uh, and we felt comfortable doing that because we have more data around that user, which enables us to put uh, better targeted advertising towards uh, those users. So that's also an opportunity for advertisers uh, to be more highly targeted. But right now it's a small user base and growing, so it's not a major ad opportunity yet, but we, we assume it will be now, you know, speaking in the coming of years. Major ad opportunities, you have these massive entertainment and sports events. Tell us how they're developing with, in the context of the second screen, in the context of social media, uh, and, and, and sort of the, the value of live television, particularly around these big Yeah, I mean, events. what we, we found is that uh, in sports, we think we've been doing it right for a few years in, in putting uh, many of our live sporting events on digital platforms live as well. Uh, you know, same time, same date, maybe multiple cameras. Uh, but what really what we found is that users gravitate to the best screen available. So they go to the biggest screen, which is typically the television, when they can. And it's a small percentage of audience that goes to just stream on a mobile device. But what we found that users are using that device for is actually as a second screen component, right, to get more out of the broadcast. So if we want to give them access to multiple camera feeds, we want to give them access to social, to statistics, to leaderboards, you know, to, to percentages, to all those things that we can deliver around a sporting event, this has been the way to do it. So we've done it on the Masters. We've done it on uh, the NCAA tournament with our partner in Turner. Uh, we've done it on the Super Bowl a couple years ago where we shattered all kinds of records in both social media and on streaming. Uh, and we're very excited, obviously, about Super Bowl 50 coming uh, in early 2016 as being a sort of watershed event for us, uh, you know, to push out uh, an even greater experience for those users. So we really think it's a, it's a great opportunity to build a deeper uh, interactive relationship with our user.